What's up, guys? Crypto Savvy here. Welcome to the channel where you subscribe to get daily updates every single day on Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. And we will take a quick look at the Dow Jones at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. We'll see what's going on pre market. Don't forget, we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out. I do think we are going to see a move today. We'll talk about that and we'll go into the smaller time frames and really take a look at it. Stick around, should be interesting. All right, guys, as always, it's not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. Always do your own due diligence. Disclaimer, scrolling on the bottom, make sure you read it. And always remember that this is my opinion, not yours. All right, so I want to remind you guys we're doing a exclusive Bybit branded Ledger Nano X giveaway. I will be doing the drawing on Sunday. I'll pick a random comment from a random video throughout the week. And all you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the thumbs up and leave your comments down below. That also helps the YouTube algorithm and helps get this video out there. So I really appreciate each and every one of you guys that do that. Let's look at the news headlines. Get a feel for the sentiment. Exclusive borrowing dollars against Bitcoin and crypto is getting to be the new thing. Market wrap stocks rally as on possible stimulus but Bitcoin is just going sideways. Bitcoin rises to 9.6 as stocks cheer additional U.S. Um, markets. Bitcoin crashes under 9,000. That one was the other day. Bitcoin to 100,000 might sound crazy, but is it? I don't think that's crazy, but I don't think we're ready to head there yet. But that's my opinion. Top investors unfazed. Bitcoin is on track for ex explosive rally. Um, Bitcoin to hit 50,000. So the news obviously is really bullish. Um, fear and greed index, we are at 38. We dropped one point from yesterday, still in the fear zone. We'll take a look at the larger time frames and then we'll go down all the way down to the one hour and I'll show you what I'm looking for. I do think we're going to see a decent move today. And looking at the price action, higher highs in the price action lower highs in the RSI that is bearish divergence. I do still believe we could possibly come all the way down to the $5,400 range and possibly further. Um, there is a gap on the CME futures chart. I'm not going to bring it up now. I'm going to try to zip through this video a little bit quicker, but it's around the $3,500 range. I'm not saying it has to go there. I'm saying you need to take that into consideration. All right, so looking at the weekly, same thing. I'll zoom in real quick. <clears throat> we had higher highs in the price action, lower highs in the RSI. That is bearish divergence. Let's zoom out a little bit. And take a look at what we've been looking at. The weekly, if we would have a daily close or a weekly close above the 10,050, 10,060 range, I would get bullish at that point. And um, we do have a measured move from the breakout of this rising broadening wedge, and that is around 16,000. That's the bullish case scenario. But to be, get there, we would have to close a weekly this week above 10,060. Um, as you can see, the price is going up. We're having a nice rally here, and volume is just dying off quickly. Let's look at... The daily. So this is the last time we had a rally like this. We've looked at this plenty of times. And what we did, we came out, we retested the channel we broke out of and had a huge plummet. Like I said, there is a possibility of coming down into this lower range. But the measured move of the drop out of this channel is 6,900. That is one of my main targets as of right now. I do think it's possible we go lower, but... If we do break these highs up here, like I said, that gets me bullish. Um, but if we were to come up and test this, this is going to be around the $9,950 to $10,000 range um, to retest the channel like we did over here. So definitely keep that in mind. Let's look at the RSI. So the RSI, same thing. We had higher highs in the price action, lower highs in the RSI. That is bearish divergence. We are seeing that play out somewhat. Let's zoom in a little bit. I was looking at this as a head and shoulders, still definitely a possibility. Um, if we do break this trend line and close a daily below it, that
that is confirmation that we are going to continue down, um, in my opinion. Now, let's look at the daily. So, the daily, as you can see, there's all these targets all over. This 11.3 is coming up to retest the bottom of this falling wedge that we broke out of back in March. Um, that's on the bullish side, bullish case scenario. If that was to happen, I would think, obviously, we would break our high here, come back down to retest it if we get support there. Yes, I am bullish at that point. But until then, I am not bullish. Like I said, we could come all the way up and retest the bottom of this. And actually, it could be all the way up to the $10,200 range. I Like I've been talking about the last forever is bull trap. We have trapped people up here, trapped bulls up here, and trapped bulls up here. But we have just continued since October of last year to make new lows. Each one of these were lower. So it wouldn't surprise me to see another fake out here. Um, we'll talk about that. I have some targets in the smaller time frames. Um, we did get a perfect bounce off the 0.236 Fibonacci retracement of this swing low to swing high. The 0.382 is at 79.40. 71.30 is the 0.5. And then we have the golden pocket zone here between 61.50 and 63.60. Um, my my target that we've been talking about forever, 5,400, still remains here. 0.786 retracement is 52.51. Now, like I said, we have this gap down here. If that was to happen, I believe that would be a quick wick. Once we get down in this range, you may see a quick wick down here if this happens. And that would be a stop point for anyone that went long here and had their stops down in here. It would pick up their stops, continue higher, and make them buy back higher. Look at the RSI. Well, before we do that, just another look at even on the daily. We are the the volume is just declining massively here. Um, definitely sign that a move is coming. Now, let's look at we're looking at this as a rising broadening wedge in the RSI. Still, re, as you can see, we keep getting bounces off both support and resistance here. We had this rising broadening or rising broadening wedge that we were watching broke out of, came back in, had a bull trap, got back inside it, and came down. So we did have rejection. Now we're looking at a falling channel here on the daily. Um, if this is to break up and out of this, that would probably most likely be going towards the more bullish case scenario. So make sure you have these this channel drawn in your charts. Let's look at little bit all right so looking at this we were looking at this as a rising wedge and what i did i cloned this top line i believe this is more likely what we're going to see here um if we we're to come back down and retest the bottom of this it's going to be around 80 86 to 87 hundred dollar range um and we most likely would get a bounce and if we stick around to this level um and end up breaking through it our measured move is right around $6,600. Um, that would be the measured move of breaking down if this does turn out to be this channel. Of course, we've already had the rising channel that we have broken out of. Let's zoom in and look at the EMAs here. On the four hour, we are as of right now getting support on the eight EMA, which is around the 9480. Um, we are below the 55 EMA, which is around the 9,500. We've been playing in this range, as you can see. We'll take a look in the one hour. This does look like a possible bull flag here, um, but it could be a fake out. The 200 EMA on the four hour lies around 93.40. Um, a break of that would be very bearish. It would most likely signal we're going down to this area. Um, another thing I wanted to look at. is the very bullish case scenario we'll take a look at that in the other chart actually um, but as of right now if we were to pop up and like i said break this high the top of this channel is around the 12,800. so again there's definitely possibilities if we look at the rsi it does look like we could come up for one more touch up here um, but if you look down here we had a touch up to the resistance up top support on the bottom twice um and right here we had higher lows in the rsi 
lower lows in the price action that was bullish divergence the, the question is has it already played out or are we going to continue up here um let's look at the one hour so looking at the one hour as you can see in the rsi we have a falling channel here and this possible bull flag and we have a measured move of the bull flag if we just measure the flag and if you guys are familiar with elliott wave that would make this a one two three and this whole triangle would be four and we would have another push up possible and the measured move of that is around 97.45 if we were to break down here the measured move is around 91.70 um if we take a measured move looking at it as this as the flagpole breakup that is around the 9069 so let's zoom in here and look at what areas we need to watch for the break of this um as i pointed out yesterday too let me show you real quick the measured move or i'm sorry not the measured move but the swing high to the swing low here we hit the 0.618 we even tested it a second time and got rejected uh, a break above this obviously would be going up to these next levels but we are still getting major rejection here and that is right around the ninety six hundred dollar range so definitely keep your eye on that but let's zoom in and look at this triangle and look at what we're looking for for a possible break as you can see the emas are all super tight right here um, but let's see if we were to break the 95.10, 95.20 area, most likely we could be headed up to at least the 96 again if that breaks, looking at the 94.75. Um, and then obviously if 94.75 breaks, we're looking up at that 90, or yeah, the 99.60 range. Um, and that also matched up with the retest of the bottom of this channel. So keep that in mind there. And if we were to break down below, 9400 again most likely we're headed to the 9150 to 92 range we do have the 0.382 fib at 9320 that'd be another point of possible let me see something real quick yeah that'd be another point of possible support i'll put a little so you guys know where that's at that is the 0.236 or the 0.382 fib retracement and the 0.236 is around 90, 91.60. And then obviously it would be a double bottom down here, but we do have that target around the 8,700. And that was the one right over here looking at this as a possible channel. Um, don't forget, check out my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. There is a link to it below. She has a lot of cool crypto stuff on there. You can put anything you want on this. Just hit her up in the contact. Doesn't have to be what you see. Also, if you guys are interested in trading i'll leave a uh, prime xbt tutorial up top definitely check it out is by far my favorite exchange you can trade forex um gold silver s p nasdaq dow everything right on that exchange um if you use my promo code savvy 50 you get 50 percent bonus on top of whatever you deposit into your trading account up to one bitcoin savvy 25 will get you 25 percent off your fees uh, just be careful guys if you're new to trading don't do high leverage don't put in more than you're willing to lose and uh be safe so anyways now let's look at something else litecoin here the bot retest in the bottom of this channel would be around the 4540 if we break above that obviously it'd be the bullish case scenario we do have the 200 ema sitting around 45 dollar range um again guys i'm still pretty bearish here of course like i said we could get a pump today um, but I do think that would be a bear trap and trap more bears up top because people every little pump everybody gets so bullish the bull You know, they say everybody's bearish uh, I don't know look at CT everybody's bullish because everybody's saying everybody's bearish everybody's bullish so anyways um, We've talked about this the retracements uh, the golden pocket from the swing low to the swing high up here is around the $34 range 0.786 is around 30 and if Bitcoin did go down and hit that $3,500 range, we could be looking at the $20 to $22 range for Litecoin. Also being a stop hunt down here. Let's take a look at the RSI. So on Litecoin, we had this falling channel. 
We had a rising channel in here, broke down out of, retested, continued down, made a falling wedge, broke out of that, retested the top of this channel. And as you can see, we have broken out of this channel now after testing the bottom. So a pump, a, a fake out could get Litecoin all the way up to this area. Where would that be in the price action? Um, Could be as high as the $50 range, 50 to $51. If we, yeah, if we do get that fake out pump, I do believe we could see it up there. But in my opinion, we're more most likely headed toward these lows. But this could be a clue, this breakout of this falling channel that we had here. If you remember, we have a falling channel in Bitcoin on the daily here. Now let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum has not broken out of that channel. Um, and it's getting resistance on this bottom trend line of the rising broadening wedge. A break of this would be pretty bullish for Ethereum. We could see a $250 Ethereum. Uh, my opinion, we most likely continue down from here and let's take some measured moves. If we look at this in yellow, we have broken this. Um, we got back inside, so it's not as likely anymore but that would get us down to around the actually would be up here get us around to the 138 range if that is the case but since we broke inside looking at this as a rising wedge and the measured move of the breakdown from there if we were to break down today or sometime in the next day or two um, the the target would be around the 152 range which is the 0.618 retracement of the swing high to, or swing low to swing high. Um, obviously, these white numbers are just the Fibonacci retracements. 214 is the 2.236. 0.382 is 191. 0.5 is 171. Uh, 0.786 is actually 0.786 is 123. And if Bitcoin was to go down to that 35, we could be looking at a $57 Ethereum and that same thing would be a stop punt for anyone that longed here. Let's look at the RSI. Oh, we already did that. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on this RSI. That's going to be a big deal. And again, guys, this is on the four hour. Let's zoom in and take a look at the EMAs real quick and see if that's given us any clues. We are right now stuck between the 55 EMA, which is at 235.50 and the 8, the 13, and the 21 are all stacked up at around the 233. So a break up below the 233, most likely we're heading down. And a break above the 236, most likely headed up. Pre-market. The Dow is currently 55 points up, which isn't doesn't mean anything. Um, we know what these can do. And just a quick talk. As you know, yesterday we hit, the Dow was at acting like Bitcoin, just absolutely crazy. I want to point out this, this is the daily chart and we had lower highs in, in the RSI, or I'm sorry, price action, higher highs in the RSI, that is hidden bearish divergence. Um, you know, who knows what it's gonna do. I honestly don't think we're gonna see any new all time highs. I don't care how much money the Fed pumps. And just to give you an idea of how I think about that, what I believe is this is a, going to be the biggest money grab in history. We had this dump. We've seen what happened. Obviously, the Fed is buying up everything right now. I do believe they will have a dump to scare everybody out so they can buy cheaper. Pretty much the Fed's going to own the world um, for next to nothing. Uh, just my opinion. Make up your own. But I do see some much lower lows in the Dow. Um, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to smash likes, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think the Dow is going to continue pumping? Do you think it's going to have a huge drop within the next couple months? Let me know in the comments below. Take it easy. Have a great day.